All right, so today I'm gonna to walk through some of our additions that I've made to the HTML file here, like adding content, an image, and some metadata. I'm gonna talk about what I did adding a CSS file. And then you can see here that I've also added a, the JPEG that we'll be using for our image. As an example, here's what our site looks like now. So you can see we have our image and we got some styling here to show that it's now centered and the text size is also much larger. So when we go back to our code, we've added doc type HTML. That's gonna just signify that this is indeed an HTML file. Within our HTML, we see that we've I've added a title section that's going to change the title that's up here. I've also added a head section that is going to add some metadata like that we're using the charts at UTF-8. We've also added the link to our CSS file. Closing out the head, we have the body section following up with that, which is going to contain the content. Our content includes a cloud image here. This can be whatever you want, but you want to make sure that you're, for the case of using GitHub, you want to make sure the extension is case matching to whatever your image is. That way it will recognize it and pull it correctly. We also changed this P tag to be an H1 because the H1 is going to say, this is our most important bit of information. Please recognize that and that's gonna be useful for things like search engine optimization. We also added a little P tag here for a little bit more content and we close that off. In our CSS file, we have some information saying that if we have an image, make the width to be 100%. That way that it will scale to be 100% of the width of the page. However, when we get to the body though, what it's going to do is we're also going to align all the text to be in the center. We're also gonna add some padding that's going to push the image and content to the center a little bit more in a way that will add some more, uh, in a way it's kind of like a margin to the, to the content. That way it's not extending all the way out and looking kind of unoptimized for a website. That's just the styling thing so you can change that as you desire. We also added some font sizing for the H1 tag. It's gonna be 70 pixels and the P tags will be 50 pixels. And going back to that, you can see that our page now looks like this. If you want to see the Chrome developer tools, Go here, you can see developer tools. You can hit Control Shift I or F12 also works. If you want to change these padding, um, you can click on these type, click on these values and change them by mousing them up or typing different values. So if you wanted a increased margin, increased padding, you can do that as well. And you can see here we have our my first website title, and yeah. So that's a short little rundown on some CSS. Um, adding a little bit more styling to a page. Yeah.